why Linux will never become the dominant OS for desktop PCs. Have you ever wondered why Linux is not the dominant desktop OS used on PCs and laptops? Problem is, you're dealing with a monopoly of sorts, and people are not willing to ditch the witch and fly over to the little island of Linux. Microsoft have by far the largest share of the operating system pie, with over 60% of devices worldwide running Windows, followed closely by Apple's Mac OS at a much lower 30%, and then we have Linux, which is only used by about 3% of PC users worldwide, and comparable systems in terms of market share would have to be the Uncode systems, which would be Heiku OS and those lesser known systems, Chrome OS, BSD. And that's about it for desktop systems. While Linux is free and open source, it has its own learning curve. The fragmentation of distributions make it hard for newcomers to settle in on a particular distro. Less software natively works on Linux, especially big name applications like Photoshop, FL Studio, etc. And hardware support can be a hit or a miss, depending on the distro you run and how old or new it is. These are all reasons as to why more people don't switch to Linux. In fact, people don't really care about their privacy. Well, at least the majority of them don't, and they are happy for Microsoft to take all of their hard-earned money just so they can sell more of their products. Windows is not made by the people for the people. It is made purely for profit, which is exactly why I, as well as many others, consider it to be substandard garbage with the amount of bloatware. Adware and spyware effectively built into Windows, it goes to show you that Microsoft don't listen to their consumers, and think Apple, Google, or any other big tech company is any better, think again. They have the power and the capital that no other team of developers, let alone a corporation that publishes FOSS software, have, this is why alternative software, browsers, and search engines seem to fail to gain market share, but it's clear as to why that is. And let's be realistic, even if Windows becomes subscription-based, do you think the majority of people will switch to Mac OS or Linux? No, quite obviously, and this is due to the reasons mentioned earlier, especially the software limitations, that's where most people would draw the line to using Linux, if more software, especially proprietary software, started supporting Linux, then more people might actually be convinced to use it, but here's the thing. The whole emphasis of free and open source operating systems is to have you use free stuff only, that might sound a bit crazy to some people, but it's actually one of the reasons that proprietary software does not support Linux, generally speaking, and the small market share is simply not worth the time, money, or effort for any of those big tech companies or developers to push out their software to Linux, as not enough people use it. And the people that use it do not use proprietary software, and if they do, it's usually done under Wine or a VM, but the people who use Linux are not exactly shouting that they want some particular big name application on their platform, are they now? They often find good enough free open source replacements, that generally does everything the paid for software does, maybe lacking some more advanced features. But I reckon the majority of you home users do not need the more advanced features in Microsoft Office, or in Photoshop, unless it's a must-have, you can make do without it. However, the majority of people are not going to trade in their proprietary software for free stuff unless there is a compelling reason to do so, whether that's due to privacy concerns, financial instability, or lack of income. Or you might be a person who deeply supports and believes in the FOSS philosophy, or you simply hate corporate control and want to be free from that, but that's not what the majority of people are concerned with, which is why they will continue using Windows or Mac OS. The same goes for mobile, Android and iOS will continue to dominate the mobile side of things, and we are kind of using a Linux-like operating system here anyway, but on desktops, it's a different story and Linux will never become the dominant system because of so many different factors, unfortunately, there are too many variables to really conclude with an accurate answer, however, I do believe Linux has some potential to continue to sway a small number of people away from Windows due to the increasing concerns over Microsoft's dirty privacy mining tactics, 
as well as a push towards a service rather than a utility you use to get work done on a PC, and the fact that Windows free upgrade days are over for those of you stuck on older systems might just be a good reason for you guys to trial Linux distribution, and if you're thinking of jumping to Linux, my personal recommendation is of course the legendary miracle of a distro that is Linux Mint, with an easy to use interface, a clean desktop free of any bloatware, adware, and spyware. There is no telemetry or tracking included in Linux Mint. There are a lot of great FOSS applications you can use, and it will revive an older PC or laptop like you wouldn't believe. So if you want to free yourself from corporate control, this is the way to go. While Linux is a great thing, not everyone can and will use it. There are just some cases where using Linux would not work for the vast majority of people, due to various reasons mentioned earlier. However, if you can trade off proprietary software for free and open source software, or you're an enthusiast who wants to experiment with his or her hardware, then you should absolutely try a Linux distribution, as it can be a fun and rewarding experience, and a very interesting one at that. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.